and is going to take home close to 900,000. And there's the line of Vanessa Russo, the chip leader, with 5.8 million in chips. And a chance to make poker history tonight, Vince. As she said, she could be the first woman in history of the World Poker Tour to win an open event, meaning one where you had a buy-in. Okay, let's get it out of the way. Happy birthday, Antonio. There's the magician, Antonio Espondiari. It's his birthday here tonight. Action going to the lady at the table. And look at this. As she picks up the queens, the ladies, what a hand. Well, she's made it 125, but right behind her is Ted. He's got a pair of nines. She is really a terrific player, but desperately wants to win this title tonight. Well, Ted Lawson, poker wow. pro. I'm all in. Wow. He's going all in with the two nines here. Like he should. Raisner goes away. Pass. Morrison out. That's right. <laughs> And Andrew Robel also flying away. The magician disappears. I call. And a quick call by Vanessa. We have a showdown. Queens against nines. She is dominating Ted Lawson at this point. This is a ninth WPT cash for Ted. Well, there's Ted's good buddy, two-time WPT luck, champ Ted. Hoyt Corkins in the luck, crowd Vanessa. watching him, but. We're all rooting for you, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> We're all rooting for you, buddy. Ted on the short stack needs a lot of help with his nines. Can he get it? Am I in the wrong seat? <laughs> Apparently, but we will see. Here comes the flop. Yeah, oh, nine right on the flop. Oh. Well, there you go. Little energy from the 51-year-old, the oldest guy at the table here. How about a 10, make it fun? Go, I don't want it to be fun. I don't want it to be fun at all. Ted out in front. Got to dodge a queen or two running cars to make it straight now. This game's never easy. See the turn? Here we go with the turn card. Oh! No! It can't be. Can you believe this? Ted can't believe it, as you can see. He counted his blessings on the flop, and now all of a sudden, he's down to one out on the river. Unreal. They really wanted to make a TV show today. They really want to give me a heart attack today. Absolute hair pull by the little lady. Uh, can we just do it quickly, please? <laughs> down to the river we go. <laughs> that's sickening. Here comes the river. Well, a king on the river, so that's going to do it for the Poker Pro out of Vegas. Ted Lawson won to win tonight, but Vince got lucky on the flop, unlucky on the turn, out tonight in sixth place. Flame boiled out of here, picking up 126,000. Holy smokes. Vanessa Russo extends her chip lead. Let's turn it over to Kara Scott, who is down on the floor with Ted Lawson. I caught the nine over two queens. And bing, queen, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but it was it was a great time, and I had a, I had a really nice time up until uh, that queen hit. And uh, there's always uh, always the next turn. See the big chip lead that Vanessa Russo has. Action's on her now. She looks down at Ace Jack. She's gonna raise it. Makes it 150 thousand to go. Racing her out, and now Kirk Morrison with a queen ten of clubs will call. Kirk, one of those players, not afraid to play pots. Andrew Robel out, Antonio out as well. So two-handed action, Mike. You and me, baby. Kirk and Vanessa, and here's the flop. And the flop comes Jack 10-6 Look out. with two spades. Vanessa's flop, top pair, top kicker. Go. Quickly Kirk. makes a continuation bet of 225 and a call by Kirk. Well, the king comes on a turn. That helps him in that it gives him an open end straight draw. Vanessa out in front with the jacks, but she checks. Now Kirk has a pair of tens, of course. And he says, I'm going to check as well. Down to the river we go. And he's going to take the free card Whoa. off. And what a free card it is. Breaks into a big grin as he makes Broadway the ace high straight. Well, Vanessa checks. She's got aces and jacks, but. 400,000. He has to bet it. Well, 400,000 is the bet. Vanessa is going to pay it off. Queen. That is sickening if you're Vanessa. Mr. Clark Kent there, picking up a nice pot. I can't do this full time. So one year went, another year went, and then a third year went, and then I'm like, okay, let's get back into this a little bit. And I'm, I'm here to have fun and just and, and, and keep playing, and it's, it's nice to know that I haven't uh, missed a step. Come on. It's been folded around to Kirk. Got the King Jack offsuit. Makes it 135,000. Andrew now, look at this, with a King Nines coming back over the top. Makes it 375,000 to go. Oh. The magician disappears, and Kirk is going to make this call. Well, Andrew making the three bet, as we say, with the King Nine. 
And he has come out with the best hand now as it comes 10 9 7. Easy game. Well, Kirk has a two way straight draw. Check. They both check. Wow. Look at this. Kings at nines. Now for Andrew and Kirk with Kings. That's another good bet. Who stares more? Andrew or I? He's a talker, this guy. I know. I can be cute sometimes, but. <laughs> what a character we got here. <laughs> that news to bet. He didn't like that. You pissed him off. Kirk. <laughs> Very personable. How much is that? Andrew's going to bet his two pair, 420,000. Well, you can't blame him for betting here. Do you have any of that? He's got a lot of it, Kirk. All right. Kirk has made the call. Yeah, it goes in deeper. Just in case I get there. Kirk needs a queen, a jack, or an eight to win this pot. We're going to the river. This is a good pot now. Well, an ace comes off. Neither player going to like that card. Going to be fearful their opponent might have made aces up. But it doesn't slow down Andrew Robel. 850,000 into Kirk Morrison. He fires again here with kings and nines. Kirk's lost his smile. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's back. He's got that goofy laugh again. My man. <laughs> oh, what a predicament. Well, it's pretty obvious I don't have the nuts right now. Is that pretty obvious? <laughs> Forced laugh by Antonio. Yeah, I'm still the same. The nuts, of course, will be the queen jack for the ace high straight. All right, Andy, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to pass. There you go. Pass. Well, he makes a good lay down there. Solid fold. But Andrew Robo playing very aggressive before the flop. Out flopping his opponent, making two pair to take down that pot. Yes, we've got five big name players at this final table, all fighting for a WPT title. And Tony, of course, going for his Pass. second. Action over to Andrew Robel. Lives in Vegas. He's got ace three of diamonds. Just limping in on the button. The magician's going to fold in the small blind, and Vanessa not going to raise. Going to see a flop. Here we go. And the flop comes nine, nine, five. Vanessa checks. She's going to try to trap. Well, she's flopped three nines. Andrew going to push here. He's betting the continuation. 60,000. And she's going to double it with a cute 120. Look at this, Andrew. Just quick calls. We're going to the turn. Jack of Hearts comes off. And Vanessa going to stick out 200,000. Has Andrew had enough? No. Well, Vance, he's drawing completely dead. No card he can catch to win this pot. Must put her on some type of straight draw, like a 6-7 or a 7-8. King of spades on the river. Well, this time a $500,000 bet by Vanessa. Well, Vance, I am very puzzled by Andrew's play on this hand. He called on the flop with the ace high, called on the turn with the ace high. Must think the ace high is the best hand. He must specifically put her on a 6-7 or a 7-8. Three nines. She's got three nines. They're going to take down that pot. And Vance, that was like a million-dollar giveaway by Andrew Robel, in my opinion, there. He just went with his gut feeling. Wow, there's Chad Brown, Vanessa's husband, a great player himself. And Vanessa Russo galloping away. The Philly making big strides tonight. So I have been the WPT final table bubble girl, not once, but twice. Uh, actually, the first time launched my career at this very casino. I went out in seventh place at the $25,000 buy-in Bellagio main event in 2006. And, you know, that was super stressful for me at that point in my career. Then finally, after another TV bubble at the Beau Rivage in 2008, where I got seventh also, I now uh, finally got past that bubble. And not only did I get past it, but I'm going into the final table with the chip lead. It's an awesome feeling. Pass. And the Andes are going up to 10,000. Blinds are now 40 and 80,000. And now Andrew Robel. Well, probably still talking to himself about that nearly 800,000 he gave away in the last pot. Well, he's made it 180 to go. Antonio out, but Vanessa with a pair of nines. And she's going to raise. The champ in good form right now. Racing her out back on Andrew. Well, he just got spanked by Vanessa a minute ago. 
See what he's going to do here with an ace eight. Well, he has called it. It's a two way action. Just about how much do you have behind? Can you just round it off for me? There you, you go, girl. Um, one five, one six. Okay, thank you. Wants to know how much she can punish Andrew with, and there's the flop. Well, 10 6 4 with two diamonds. So Andrew has flopped the nut flush draw, as we say. Vanessa right now has the best hand with two nines, but. All in. Well, Vanessa going all in. Just hoping he doesn't have a 10. And now Andrew's got a tough decision. Can I call? He calls and he's going to have to have some help or he's going to be our fifth place finisher. Andrew looking for an ace or a diamond right now. Can the Philly knock out the cash game pro? A lot of drama left in his hand. Andrew Robo looking for the diamond. And Vince, they say diamonds are a woman's best friend. They won't be here. Can she break Andrew Robo right now? We will see. Here's a turn. It's a diamond. That's going to do it. The flush of Andrew Robo going to win this pot. Doesn't matter what comes up on the river. And as you can see, he's got some fans in the house tonight. The first run in the stocking there for Vanessa. Well, Vance, I like the way she played the hand. She came over the top of two nines, moved all in on the flop. Unfortunately, he had the diamond draw and hit it. That's what I do on TV poker. I get it all in behind and win. You can see five players and Vanessa Russo still out in front with over five million. Yeah, but Andrew Robel now has over four million in chips. That last pot has really closed the gap in terms of anybody being able to win this tournament. They've yes. folded around to Andrew Robel, and he has picked up two queens. What a hand with the button. And he's going to make it a subtle 200,000. The magician playing very tight tonight. He folds. Now well, Vanessa quickly makes the call with the jack seven of clubs. She has flopped top pair, could get in further trouble here. Seven, four, deuce, all hearts. Well, she just doubled Andrew up in the last pot. She checks Andrew with no heart, betting again, 250. Vanessa gonna get tricky here, comes back over the top, makes it 750,000 to go with no heart. I'm all in. Well, Andrew's going all in. Mm. Ouch. I think I'm going to go with it. Just give me a second. Uh... Well, he's saying most likely she probably has one heart. I don't care. I'm going to gamble, my queens. Do you want me to? I've got a really big hand, a really, really, really big hand. You're right. A really, really, really awful hand. <laughs> it's two million in the middle. Well, Vance, the only way she can call here is if she specifically puts him on like ace, king, ace, queen with the ace of hearts. Okay, I'm going. This would be a dreadful mistake by Vanessa if she makes this call, in my opinion. Without a heart in her hand to make a flush draw. I don't say I can call it 2-7. She could be up against an overpair and the flush draw. Or she's drawing almost dead. Okay, I call time on myself. I'm going to leave my minute. So Vanessa's got one minute to act on her hand. If she hasn't acted by then, her hand is automatically folded. My read is that you're bluffing. My read is that you're bluffing. You have an, one, maybe two over cards with the flesh drive. But that problem is, is that there's so much in there, I can't even avoid, even if you do have that, it's correct for me to call. She is a math whiz, graduated in economics from Duke in two and a half yeah. years. Best case scenario, you could be 60%. She better put two and two together, or she's going to be severely crippled. I think you've got one over on me, and maybe nine outs. So that's 12 outs plus basically flipping. <laughs> flipping is so not fun. Oh, she's great. Off here on the percentages, but. I mean, would you think you're good here with top pair? You know, a lot of players go through this, but they talk to themselves. They don't explain it all to the table. She's entertaining. How, many, how much time? Can you tell me now or before we wait too much longer? <laughs> one minute. Is two seconds. Ten. Give her an extra time. Dude, I was, that was asking. A that was game. so weird. I was like, how much she, time do I have left? You said, but you said one minute. She thought she had a minute, so she got distracted. Like I was just asking how much time is left. I don't know why you were waiting ten more seconds. I just wanted to know how much time. Start was over left. at thirty or twenty. I don't know. All right, twenty seconds. Jesus. Well, Vanessa seemed confused by the tournament director, but. I think he made it quite clear. You have one minute to act on your hand. When they get 10 seconds, they'll start counting backwards. Well, you're right about that, Mike. Well, 
she's getting more time, but I guarantee you. I mean, Andrew would like her to call if he could see her hand, but if she has a heart in her hand, he would not want her to call here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Clock running three, out, and she finally does the right thing, makes the fold. Well, Vince, she made it a tough fold when I think it was just simple as ABC to make that fold after the guy moves all in for $3 million. Oh, that was close. That was so hard. Probably would have called, but that, that messed me up. That time thing really messed me up. I couldn't even think. And she's stumbling badly right now. I was like, why are you still wait, waiting? I'm just how much time is left. And your robo, nicely done. Was there, I didn't mean to be confusing. I just, no, no. when I said how much time is you left, I just. Your minute, so then you can say you almost have your minute up. Don't wait 10 seconds and then tell me that. Only the audience at home is going to know about that one. Back to this hand, Andrew Robel quickly folding, and now Antonio, the magician, picks up Ace Queen. And Antonio has been very quiet this final table so far. Right now he's in fifth place in chip count, but going to raise here with the Ace Queen. I'm going to call. Makes it 205. Everyone folds, but Kirk Morrison, who has a jack nine of clubs, he makes the call. Yeah, he wants to see a flop with this hand. I assume he didn't raise blind, right? And he's flopped to flush draws. It comes Queen 7 6 with two clubs. Unfortunately for him, Antonio swapped top pair with top kicker. Kirk is checked, and Antonio with a continuation. Best 330. Oh. And a quick call by the four flush. Well, he doesn't raise with a flush draw, just calls. Now the eight of hearts comes off. This gives him an open in straight draw. Check it. But he checks again, and Antonio. Well, Vince, he checks. Some players would have just moved right in on the turn with that kind of drawing in. Well, he's going to try to make Kirk levitate here because he's betting a hefty 650,000, it looks like. He might leave me just enough chips to bluff the river. You know that? He might lay down. Who knows? Might leave me just enough. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good start. I short stacked myself. Well, Kirk is threatening to Ugh. go all in here. Will he shove? He's got a big drawing hand. Vince, he knows his problem is if he moves all in here, Antonio's virtually pot committed to call it. This, this is a first. Kirk actually doing math in a hand. This is a first. You know, Kirk is what we call a field player in poker. Just goes with his gut most of the time. See what he's going to do here. There's Phil Luck, the Unabomber, and Antonio's dad in the audience. Oh, you guys are going to do that rabbit hole thing, though, right? Ugh. Don't like that. Tony, you're going to win, mate. And Kirk Pass. is going to make a good laydown. Well, a big laydown. Not sure it's a good one with the kind of drawing hand he had. Take a look at the wonder cam. Yes, it is. The six of spade comes off. Got this one rabbit cam I don't want to see. Turns out to be a nice laydown by Kirk Morris. Good laydown, sir. He would not have hit his card. And Antonio playing pretty solid tight tonight. Picks up his first pot. Okay, onto this hand. The blinds are going up to 50 and 100,000. Action on Vanessa. He's been a little taken aback since the last debacle. She folds. Uh, over to John Raisner here. He's got a king six offsuit. Going to raise it. 255,000. Going to try to make something happen. Kirk Morrison with ace jack calls. And Andrew Robo with a pair of fives. Quickly calls as well. Well, Antonio going out. So we've got three-way action here. Flop is ace, 10, five. Andrew has swapped three fives, and he checks. Oh, he's going to try to trap with his three of a kind. Raisner also checking. Well, they're both checking. you got two aces. You're going to bet here. Kirk Morrison certainly does that. Can't blame him. It's 225000 Quickly gets raised by Andrew. Makes it 550. Raisner out. Oh. And Kirk, not hesitating, thinks he's out in front with the aces. He's making the call. Well, Vince, you're not going to put the guy on ace king here because he didn't raise before the flop. Third card is the nine of spades. God, I wish you wouldn't do that. I'll call it when we're like looking at each other you know, a little bit and having that moment. Was it romantic? No, nah, it's not. It looked romantic. And you're horrible. All in. Wow. Well, Andrew's going to roll in. I call. Kirk Morrison is called. Oh, this side. That's good. You got the best. You win. Well, Kirk knows he's drawing dead. 
The irrelevant card, tennis spades on the river. And just unfortunate for Kirk Morrison, out in fifth place, gonna take home 168,000. Well, the happy-go-lucky guy, Kirk Morrison, took a three-year hiatus from the World Poker Tour. He's come back to make the final table here. Hopefully, we'll see a lot more of him in the future. Nobody wanted, nobody wanted to talk you talk tonight, but uh, I'm just uh, happy, you know, that I can, uh, know that I can still play. So I'll take another time capsule and come back in three years and see if I can still do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you right here then. <laughs> uh, that's a date. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. No worries, dear. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bellagio and WPT. You guys have been fantastic. Now, Andrew Robles, the chip leader with $8 million. Action to John Raisner, who picks up a pair of deuces. Well, when you play shorthanded poker from four players on down, you have to play more aggressive. So Raisner raising it with two deuces here. But Antonio with a pair of eights. He's going to raise, makes it 700000 to go. Vanessa out. Raisner going to call. Well, Raisner just hoping to flop a deuce here. Eight against deuces, and there's the flop. Well, it's come king, king, nine. All in. Well, Antonio going all in with two eights. Says, if you can beat this, good luck to you. And Racer now trying to figure out, does he have ace queen or something? But he can't take a chance. Lays down the two ducks. And John Racer just has not been able to get things going today. Well, this is my first WPT final table, and uh, I've always wanted to make one. When I was 21, the first one I played, I got eighth. So I bubbled the TV final table, which was pretty disappointing. I even dreamed more about making this final table than the uh, World Series poker final table. No bad play goes unpunished, and tonight delivering his own form of poker justice is our very own Tony Dunst in this week's Raw Deal. Every now and then while watching a hand, you sit back and ask yourself, what the hell is going on here? And that's all I could think when watching Vanessa play her top pair against Andrew's pocket queens. I'm Tony Dunst. Let's break it down. As we saw, Andrew doubled through Vanessa with a draw in the previous hand, and so it's sensible to believe that Vanessa may be a bit off center after losing such a major pot. That's what I do on TV poker. I get it all in behind and win. She decides to try and get some of her chips back from Andrew by making a speculative call out of the big blind with a suited jack seven against Andrew's button raise. The flop action is a mess. It seems Vanessa check raised the flop without any particular plan for what she would do against any reaction from Andrew, except the fold. Vanessa and Andrew are the two deepest stacks, and with her mediocre holding on this draw-heavy monotone board, Vanessa's goal should have been pot control instead of just trying to take it down as quickly as possible. Instead, she raises, and this is a major mistake for three reasons. A, she's got enough showdown value that she can check call the flop and evaluate whether she wants to keep calling on future streets. B, by check raising, she reopens the action and allows Andrew to push her off her hand by jamming the flop. Come on, man. C, let's say Andrew had chose to just call Vanessa's raise on the flop. Now she's stuck playing a bloated pot out of position with a medium strength hand against a competent opponent with tons of turn cards that could make her decisions even more difficult. Perhaps she meant to turn her pair into a bluff all along, but if that's the case, then I don't know why she would spend so much time deliberating over her decision. I've got a really big hand, a really, really, really big hand. I think I'm going to go with it, but just give me a second. Do you want me to? I'm going... To add to the complication, Vanessa calls the clock on herself. Okay, I call time on myself. Ah, calling the clock on yourself. For people who want to combine the experience of making an enormous equity decision with the sensation of trying to defuse a bomb. How, many, how much time? It doesn't help that nobody in the room is quite sure whether a minute contains 60, 20, or 10 seconds, and I'm not even sure myself I never last that long. Eventually, Vanessa comes to the right conclusion and lets go of her hand, but it seems clear to me that she made the decision a lot harder and more expensive than it needed to be. It's too bad. I was hoping we'd get to see one of her patented aggressive calls. Probably would have called, but that, that messed me up. That time thing really messed me up. I couldn't even think. Well, he doesn't hold back, does he, Mike? Well, I have some good input. Need to pay attention to Tony. You'll learn something. All right. Back to the game, a quick fold by John Reisner. And now our chip leader, Andrew Robel, with a king five with the button. He is getting chips out to push. 250,000 the bet. Antonio out. Vanessa now, though, with an ace king. Very strong hand. I am shocked she didn't come over the top of this hand. She just makes the call, wants to see a flop. 
Well, she catches her aces right there. Let's come ace, king, five, all diamond. She's got top pair and the nut flush draw, and it goes check, check. Andrew's got a pair of fives. Deuce on the turn. Now yeah, she's betting here, and I don't know why. And Andrew's going to make this call with just fives. What is he thinking? And he's thinking his two fives are the best hand. Guess so. Jack on the river helps neither player. Vanessa first to act Sorry. again. 700,000. And she's going to bet 700,000. I don't know what to do. I pull the audience. <laughs> like, who wants to be a millionaire style? Well, I think he does know what to do. It's going to be to get away from these two fives. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> He's in trouble. Vanessa can't look. Look at that. Well, she's hiding herself. That's the posture of a champion. All right, I'm going to fold it. He does make a fold here. And Vanessa wishes he would have called. Chad Brown, Vanessa's husband, enjoying that moment. She is back. Work your magic, B. Show that magician what's up. And there's Maria Ho and <laughs> Tiffany Michelle, Vanessa's good friends, rooting her on. <laughs> well, they got the girl power going tonight, Vance. Yeah, they certainly do. Those two are great players in their own right. It's going to be embarrassing if you bluffed me. You know, I called you when you called you when you had it, and then folded when you didn't. No, you're doing just fine, Andrew. Well, on that hand, he did. Back to the table, Vanessa. And this time, she's going to look down at a King-10 offsuit. Well, she's going to stay aggressive here, it looks like, as she caps her cards, using the indication someone's going to play a pot. And indeed, she is. She raises it to 250000 with the King-10. John Racer can't pick up any cards lately. He folds. But Andrew with a huge hand, ace, queen of diamonds. Well, Vince, once again, he and Vanessa are going to play a pot here. At least temporarily. Well, this is a powerful hand in a four-handed poker game. And he's going to raise it. Makes it 700000 to go. Antonio gets out of the way. Call. Cool. And Vanessa is going to stick around. Makes the call. Well, she wants to see a flop here, Vince. Don't know if she's getting a little stubborn. But she's just trying to beat this guy so bad because he's taken so many chips from her so far. And look at this. Two pair, top two pair for Andrew on the flop. Ace, queen, three. So Andrew has flopped the top two pair. Vanessa is the gut shot straight throw. There you see Kirk Morrison, who's come back to watch this final table, sitting along with another good player, Robert Williamson. So it's on Andrew. Huge hand, and he's not going to play it slow. He's going to bet. No, nope. going to make the continuation bet with a top two pair here. Just don't want to give your opponent a free card where she could catch a gut shot to beat you, or if she had a small pair, make trips to beat you, where they're going to bust you on the turn. Well, it's 700,000, and Vanessa cannot take the heat. Well, she had a gut shot straight. And what a field, and what a tournament we have seen so far. You're right, Vance. Players love coming to Blasio. It's one of the greatest places in the world to play poker. Doyle Brunson himself almost made this final table here at Blasio in a tournament that's named in his honor. Incredible effort by Doyle. And now, action on John Reisner. He's got a queen, eight of clubs. All in. And he's going to push all in. Robles out. But the magician has a king-queen. Watch. Pretty good hand. He says, how much you got, sir? Well, Reisner's got about a million in chips. Antonio's got four and a half million, so he can afford to make this call. And he does so, and what a call it is. Very solid. Vanessa out, and we got a showdown. Well, that's a great read on Antonio's part. King ball one time. As his opponent dominated, king queen versus queen eight. Good luck. The magician trying to make Reisner disappear. What did you fold? Queen eight. I hate that when I hear that at the table. <laughs> There's two eights in the deck. Uh, it takes your sweat away. Yes. Doesn't it? <laughs> Antonio loving his chances. Uh, Can he break John Reisner at this point? We will see. Here's the flop. Oh, and he gets a king. Comes king, six, three, one club. So for Reisner to win this pot, he's got to catch two running clubs to make a flush or the last two eights in the deck to make three eights. Reisner, the 24-year-old out of Tampa, in a lot of trouble. Here comes the turn card. Well, seven of hearts comes off. 
So that's going to do it for John Raisner. The 24-year-old poker pro out of Tampa, Florida, finishes in fourth place. And Vince, he just didn't have any cards tonight. Wasn't meant to be for John tonight. Well, he picks up 232,000. John Raisner out. We are down to three players, and one of them is the magician on